up, what up, what up? Duran Singh, Car Chronicles, Legacy Always Continues. What's going on, Scopers? What's going on, fam? What's going on, club, tribe, team? What's going on? Let's do one for the home team, guys. That's how you gotta look at it. So I just wanna touch you, guys, touch base with you guys real quick. I wanna deliver one message, one message only. So they can be, you know, not, not long, not long at all. So what I wanted to just let you guys know is touch base. I um, got an opportunity to meet in, you know, phenomenal gym owner Colleen of Core Physique in Alpharetta, Georgia. She put on a phenomenal trigger point therapy workshop. So it was an opportunity to um, do that workshop with some other great fitness professionals and even some just, you know, clients of her facility as well. Beautiful facility, very knowledgeable um, instructor and everything too. Now, the, the interesting thing about this thing is you know, some people may ask me like, Ron, I thought you knew how to trigger point and this and that. I knew all about file map mal, faster release, this and that. You know, now answer to that question is yes, I do. But what you gotta understand is this most important concept I'm gonna let you know right now. And it's the minimum requirement for success is continual improvement, continual knowledge. That is what it's gonna take for you to keep learning, keep learning, keep setting the bar higher and higher and higher. You know? And that's what I that's the main reason why I did that. I didn't do it because of the fact that it was something brand new to me. I already knew all about that. The reason why I did it was because I knew that I could take out certain gems out of that four hour workshop and apply it not just to my life, but to my clients' lives, my coaching clients' lives, and give them an even better value and even better service. If you wanna know what you can do to raise your bar and raise your value of expertise and expertise and knowledge and, ex and service and product, you need to learn, you need to learn more. You need to learn from people that know more than you and continually learn from them until you can actually learn the same amount and then find a new person, find a new master, find a new coach, find someone that's gonna make you excel. Because if you keep learning from someone that, you, you know, the same things that you already know, you're not gonna learn anything differently. You're not gonna be able to master the um, secret of success. Put yourself in a position to always learn and always grow. Always make sure you take notes, take mental notes, take, you know, jot down these notes. Everywhere I go, I make sure that I have my notepad so I can make notes down. I mean, it was a point where I didn't have a pen on me today, so I even told her, listen, I'm gonna bust out my phone, I'm gonna take notes on my phone. It probably looked like she probably didn't know what I was doing, I probably texting away, but I was in there listening, taking those notes and applying what she said to my, you know, my expertise and you know what, it's gonna make me, once again, deliver more value, not just to myself as a person because once again, I'm an important person in my life, but to every single other person around me in regards to health and fitness, just for the example itself. So always make sure you are always in the predicament to always grow and always learn. If you do not do that, you cannot grow. Always, always, always make sure you're in the environment to always learn. If you're not learning, you are not growing. If you are not growing, what is the point of life? There is no purpose. Become a, you know, a, a scholar. Become a lifelong scholar where all you're doing is trying to learn. Because think about it, life is all about lessons. That's all you're gonna get from life. So make sure you put yourself in a situation to always learn something and better yourself. That is the best way to do it. No one's gonna come to you with the information and knowledge you need because they don't know exactly what you need to know in life. So you need to come with the hand of knowing that you need to do that for yourself. And know what, it's gonna come down to you investing in yourself too. So look at it as the power investment. I didn't have to spend money for this, but I did. You know why? Because I knew if I put my money you know, into this, into this workshop that I'd be more vested into listening, more vested into learning, instead of if it was just a free workshop. So it puts skin in the game for me, so that's why I truly was able to do it. And I had a very busy day, guys. I had, you know, to get up early, do my morning rituals, then head over to Powder Springs over here in Georgia and put on an orientation to wow some amazing clients and then drive across half the state, you know, just to get back to this workshop. And from all that, you know, I could have easily spent time with my son, but I took that sacrifice you know, in a short time, but you know, that's where I'm going right now. I'm going to hang out with my son and have some fun with that little boy. But you know what? It's a matter of making those sacrifices because once again, I'm gonna learn so much more from this, that four hour sacrifice and it's gonna lead to me helping out so many people. Once again, if you, are, if you got a chance, write this down. The minimum requirement of success 
is continual improvement or continual knowledge. Don't forget that. Make sure you put yourself first, guys. This is so important, all right? Don't forget, Theron saying here, Car Chronicles, baby. No one before me or after me will match my hustle, my grind, my mentality, or my passion because I'm already just like you. Go get it. Make the world a difference place.